Hey, what's up guys? Alan here with another Q&A and today we're gonna to be talking about factory amplifiers. All right guys, so just like we stated in the intro, the question that we have today is actually from Facebook, from Al. So I, I don't know if he's trying to be like Alan, but it's Al. And uh, we'll protect the rest of his identity by not revealing his last name to you. So uh, pretty much the question that we have here is, how do I know if I have a factory amplified system? Well, Al, uh, for the most part, that can pretty much be pretty simple when it boils down to it. Most cars have a clear indication interior wise, either on the radio or on the door panel. Uh, there's usually some sort of indication and it's usually the manufacturer of that premium system. So an example could be Bose, uh, Infinity, Alpine, Rockford Fosgate. I know those sound aftermarket, but those can be some factory OEM systems. Uh, JBL, if I already didn't say it, Infinity, um, Harman Kardon, etc. There can be lots of different ones out there, and usually those are pretty clearly indicated on the door panel, the tweeter pod where the factory tweeter location is, or on the radio itself. So those particular vehicles that have a clear indication like that, you can rest assured they've got a factory amplifier in there. You more than likely have a factory subwoofer. It's typically a multi-channel amplifier. Um, now, on some cars that may not be labeled, uh, that doesn't mean that they don't have a factory amplifier, but in most cases, uh, your typical base audio system uh, that from the factory that doesn't give any clear indication that it's a premium system, usually I would say 99% of the time doesn't have a factory amp. However, there would be some exceptions to the rule. I'll give you a quick example, like an IS250 or an IS350 with the base model audio system, the system that doesn't have the Mark Levinson system in it, just the base model, that vehicle still has a factory amplifier in the rear right quarter panel of the trunk, even though there's no indication of a premium system in that vehicle. That particular system still considered base for them and not premium, so there is no indication, but that car does still have an amp. Usually you find a lot of this in a lot of European vehicles, um, although like I said, it's probably not that common. Uh, sometimes that can be a little confusing. Um, another way you can obviously go about it if you can't figure it out by doing some research, you can always use the VIN number of your vehicle, call a local dealer, and actually just give them the VIN number. They usually need the last seven to 10 digits of the VIN. They should be able to let you know what the original equipment of the car was and if there was a factory amplifier. Or if you can't figure out by doing that, you can always just give us a call. One of our friendly sales staff would be happy to assist you in figuring out exactly what system you might have. Now, of course, you might ask why you may need to know this. Well, it's definitely important for quite a few different reasons. One, if you're replacing your factory radio with an aftermarket radio, it's important to know if you have the factory base model or premium amplified system and what features it has, such as like a lot of GM vehicles, they have Bose, they have OnStar, they have the premium system. Uh, those, a lot of those radios uh, retain and amplifiers retain your door chimes. Uh, your, your seatbelt warnings, etc., And you don't wanna lose out on some of those safety features by any means. In fact, sometimes bypassing those can be even more difficult than just buying the actual correct harness. Now, I know sometimes people are like, oh, that's kind of expensive. I just wanna bypass it, get a cheaper harness. I don't know how much time your time is worth, but it's just a lot more work involved than just to buy the right harness. So that's one reason. Or if you're adding an aftermarket amplifier to your system, you obviously need to know where to get signal. So you need to know if you're getting signal at the radio, if it doesn't have an amp, or you're getting signal at the factory amplifier, or if you're just looking to simply bypass the amp altogether uh, or integrate an aftermarket amp. So those are the few things you need to know. Uh, even something as simple as just adding on a uh, aftermarket subwoofer. You need to know where to get signal even if you're not replacing it all. So uh, those are just a few things why it's important to know where the factory amplifier is located and if you have one. All right guys, so after all that, if you're still confused and need help, just leave some comments below. We'll be happy to help you. Or like I said, definitely just give us a call and we'll be happy to figure out exactly what you need. So depending on whatever you're trying to do, we're trying to figure out if you got a factory amp or not, replace your radio, add an amp, add a woofer, whatever the case is, we definitely can help you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, Instagram, 
Facebook, social media outlets. I'm Alan. See you next time. Thank you.